Hey, it's health coach Tara. And today I'm gonna share with you my list of zero carb foods because nutrition labels on food are tricky. So federal guidelines actually allow companies to label a serving of food as zero carb if it contains less than half of a gram per serving. That's right, if a food has 0.48 grams of carbs per serving, it can be labeled as zero. The other thing to know is that if you see a label that says contains less than one gram, that means the food contains between half and 0.99 grams of carbs per serving. So my tip is that if you see a zero carb food label and you just aren't really sure, assume the food has half of a gram of carb per serving. If you see on the package that it says contains less than one gram, go ahead and assume it has one gram of carb per serving. So today in this video, I'm going to share my list of zero carb foods with you. So I am gonna go as high as one and a half carbs per serving in this list, so we can include a few more options and I'll tell you that. I'm also gonna give you tips on what to look for when you're shopping for these foods. And in the end of the video, I'm gonna share my best tip for researching these foods on your own. So when would you use a zero carb list? Well, I personally refer back to this list time and time again when I'm working to stay around 20 total carbs on my keto diet. So this might be when I'm trying to lose weight or trying to increase my blood ketone level to improve my mental focus or something else. It's also useful if you've logged your food for the day and you get to the end and you're like, oh, I'm out of carbs, but I need to eat something else. So there's a number of ways this will come in handy. And if you're struggling to figure out what to eat on your keto diet, I wanna invite you to sign up for our free weekly keto meal plans using the link right above. Now, I'm gonna share the zero carb foods by category. And there are only really a handful of truly zero carb foods, so I'm gonna share these the best I can from the lowest carb count to the highest carb counts. Now, all of my information was researched through Chronometer, which I'll tell you more about later on. So we're gonna start off with fats and oils. So you probably already know that the purest form of zero carb food is fats and oils. So these include animal fat, avocado oil, butter, coconut oil, cod liver oil, flaxseed oil, ghee, olive oil, MCT oil, and palm oil. All of these truly have zero carbs. So you might be wondering why I didn't include vegetable oil, corn oil, canola oil, grapeseed oil, soybean oil, or margarine on this list. While it's true that they're also zero carb, these oils are highly inflammatory to the body. So I recommend everyone avoid these oils regardless of what diet they're on. It's a simple trick to improve your general health. So our personal favorite oils to cook with in our home include avocado oil, butter, coconut oil, MCT oil, and olive oil. Next up is eggs. Now many people think that eggs are zero carbs. However, a large egg has 0.6 carbs per egg. So in a three egg meal, you actually have almost two carbs. Meat. Unprocessed meat has zero carbs. So you wanna avoid meat that's pre-marinated or comes with a sauce. When you're looking at a meat package, look for an ingredients list and be sure there's no gluten or sugar hidden in the meat or as an additive. Now processed meats like bacon and sausage, those are usually processed or cured using sugar. So there's some brands out there like Applegate Farms and Butcher Box that have processed meat products that don't use sugar. However, many brands use such a small amount of sugar that you'll end up with less than a gram of carb per serving. So just do your research and pay close attention to the ingredient list. If the nutrition label says zero carb, go ahead and assume it has half of a gram of carb per serving. Then you won't get into trouble. Seafood. Now fish has zero carbs, but beware of imitation products such as imitation crab meat. Now one serving of imitation crab meat actually has between 13 to 17 grams of carbohydrates. Now if you're not sure if it's real crab meat, just assume it's imitation. Anything that you see crab stuffed is usually made with imitation. 
So fatty fish such as mackerel, salmon, and sardines are high in omega-3 fats, which have been linked to health benefits, including lowering insulin levels, increasing insulin sensitivity, and improved cognitive health. You're going to see a few links to studies below in the description of this video if you want to look more into this. So shellfish, such as clams, mussels, octopus, oysters, and squid, have between three to four grams of carbs for a three and a half ounce ser serving. So I wanted to let you know about that. Now, anytime you're looking at seafood, you wanna avoid pre-marinated seafood or sauces as they usually contain sugar. Next is cheese and dairy. Now there are hundreds of types of cheese, so I'm not gonna list each one out individually. However, know that most cheeses are low in carbs and high in fat. So I'm gonna share a trick for researching your favorite cheese at the end of this video. So some popular cheeses with around half of a carb per serving include Munster, Colby Jack, Edam, Swiss, Gouda, and Cheddar. Now aged cheeses have less carbs per serving not by ounce, but because we tend to use a smaller serving than an ounce of shaved cheese. Cheeses like Asiago, Parmesan, and Romano are just under one carb per ounce, and you really only use a little bit. So they're great to dress up your meal while adding a pop of flavor. Soft cheeses tend to have around one gram per serving. These are cheeses like cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, bread cheese, which is halloumi, H-A-L-L-O-U-M-I, now know that cottage cheese has the most carbs of all the cheeses. So they come in between three to four grams per ounce, but be sure you choose full fat cottage cheese and read the nutrition label carefully. Now heavy whipping cream is low carb, but it's not zero carb. One tablespoon of heavy whipping cream contains 0.4 carbohydrates. So like we talked about earlier, this is an example of a food that can be labeled as zero carbs on the carton as long as the serving size is one tablespoon. Sour cream is also low carb, but not zero. Usually sour cream is somewhere between 0.7 to one grams of carbs per one tablespoon serving. Again, read the labels of these different brands and choose the lowest carb option you can find. Our next category is broth. So most broth has less than half of a carb per serving, but there are some bone broths on the market that contain more than this. So the basic flavors of kettle and fire bone broth contain zero carbs. So when you're choosing a bone broth or a broth, read the nutrition facts and the ingredients list. And if you aren't sure and the nutrition facts say zero, you could safely assume each serving contains half of a gram of carbs. Nuts. Now most nuts are low carb, but not zero carb. So the two lowest carb nuts are gonna be Peely nuts, P-I-L-I, -I, and those have under one carb per serving, and macadamia nuts with one and a half per ounce. Vegetables. Now most vegetables are packed full of fiber, and they all contain some carbohydrates. So here are a few vegetables that contain less than one gram total carbs per serving, per serving. and there's not a lot here. You've got arugula, bok choy, celery, cucumbers, lettuce, and leafy greens like iceberg, romaine, butter lettuce, kale, and Swiss chard. Next up are sauces, syrups, and glazes. Now sauces, you may already know, they're famous for having hidden sugars in them. So read the ingredients list carefully, even on brands you know and trust. So a few brands I'd like to mention are Primal Kitchen and Sir Kensington. Both of these brands have some sauces that are very low carb. Again, always read the ingredient list and don't assume. Mustard and vinegar are zero carbs. Again, always read the nutrition list, but they should be zero. Mayonnaise and aioli are usually low carb, but again, check your ingredients list, read your nutrition label. Now, ketchup and barbecue sauce. These are higher carb even when there's no sugar in the recipe. So find the lowest carb option you can and use it sparingly. Now, instead of using soy sauce, which contains wheat, use coconut aminos or Bragg's liquid aminos in, as a substitute. Syrups and glazes, they usually contain sugar, but there's more and more keto options out there that are zero carb. So I recommend you go ahead and use that general tip I shared and assume half of a gram of carbohydrate per serving if the label says zero carb. That covers the lowest carb foods you can find for your keto diet. If you're wondering about other foods, I'm gonna share my best research tip that goes beyond reading a label or an ingredient list. 
Now for the past decade, I've been using Chronometer to track my meals. Chronometer is where I build my recipes, research foods, and create meal plans. It has one of the best databases out there and is trusted by doctors and researchers alike. So I will place my link if you'd like to sign up for a free account here in the description. So this is an affiliate link, which means I'll get a few cents if you choose to sign up using my link. Now, if you decide to upgrade to gold membership, you'll save 10% on your first year using my link. And when I filmed this video, a year was $34.95. So one reason that many people choose to upgrade is that all of our recipes at Tara's Keto Kitchen are entered into Chronometer and they can be shared with you if you're a Gold Chronometer member and you send me a friend request. So if you choose to do this, you can send the friend request to my email at Tara, T-A-R-A, at wholebodyliving.com. Comment below this video after the friend request or send us an email and we'll approve it just as soon as we see it then you'll have access to all the recipes on our website here on this YouTube channel and on our website at wholebodyliving.com. This is such a fun feature and many people love not having to do all the data entry for our recipes. And the recipes from the Keto Cupcake Cookbook are all also available, available in Chronometer and we plan to do this for all of our future and upcoming cookbooks as well. Now, I promised you a research tip. So anytime I'm not sure about a food or a label, I go to Chronometer and I put that food in. So for example, I heard on many videos about zero carb foods that eggs are zero carbs. And I thought, I don't think that's right. So I went to Chronometer and I put in an egg. Sure enough, a large egg has 0.6 carbs. Then I also searched on Google. Sure enough, Google pulls up that an egg has 0.6 carbs. So anytime you hear a piece of information or you're not sure about a label, a great way to figure it out for yourself is to go to Chronometer, and sometimes Google has the same exact information as well, and put the, put the ingredient in. So for heavy cream, that's another great example of a food that's actually listed as zero on the carton. So you would put heavy cream in and it says 0.4 carbs per tablespoon. So if you see like 0.1, like you can do half of a cup, like how much would be in half of a cup of cream and you can see it adjust up. So that's my tip for figuring out and researching foods that you're not sure about. But if you wanna skip all of that, you can just follow my general rules. So if you see, if you grab a food, it says zero carb on the label, just assume that that food has half of a gram of carb per serving. Then you're always going to be safe and within your carb goals. If you see contains a negligible amount of carbs, then just assume it has one gram per serving. So if you enjoyed this video and want to explore more of our videos, be sure and subscribe to our channel here, Tara's Keto Kitchen. We post new keto recipe videos and new keto diet videos each week. So be sure you turn on all notifications for our channel when you subscribe. Or if you've already subscribed, take just a moment and double check that all notifications are on so you don't miss a thing. If you'd like to sign up for our free meal plans or get our free keto food list, head over to our website at wholebodyliving.com and choose from any of the freebies right there on our homepage. While you're there, explore hundreds of delicious keto recipes that are complete with macros we've calculated using Chronometer. There are no hidden carbs in our recipes. If you have any questions at all, drop those in the comments. We also take topic requests for videos, so type those out below in the comment section and we'll be sure to start creating that video for this channel. So until next time, this is Health Coach Tara of Tara's Keto Kitchen, wishing you the best of health.